I don't know whether or not that whole picture of worldwide revolution is ever going to come again. But I do know that unless anarchy can open up, can talk and speak the language of people who are not anarchy, that's you watching this show. If you don't understand what we're saying in this show, you don't understand what we're saying in this documentary, then it's all a bit of a waste of time. Because for much of the time, that it's very easy to speak to people who agree with you, or if they disagree, at least a part of the same milieu. And you can have lots of arguments about things. Um, I think that there may well have to be a revolution. There may well have to be at least some period of contesting and trying to erase power. Because every section of history shows, every reading of any history of any country, I think, shows that people do not give power back. Well, there you go, thank you. I was dictator, I've decided not to be now. You know, they don't. And that the real power in many democratic countries is not in the faces of the politicians that you see, but in those apparatchiks, those bureaucrats who are there all the time, who you never meet, that we don't know who they are, who have never been elected to anything, but sit there all forever and ever and ever. So I think that change may have to occur in a non-gradual way. But I think if that's going to happen, we need to be looking at everyone who is being exploited, being used, being abused physically and emotionally and mentally. People who were frightened of, who disagree with us, who we've got no contact with. Because they're the people, they're the people who, who will help us, we will help them. And they're the people who can create a wonderful, wonderful place, maybe. Not just those. Those people, you know, might be able, all those people out there might well be able to create anarchy. Maybe even without you and me, without us. That's something that we have to accept. We're not Christians, you have to, you know, you have to follow what we say. We're not Marxists. You know, we don't have a Bible as a Christian. We don't have the Communist Manifesto where you follow each line. We have a belief in certain potentials of people. And if it's common sense to me that the more people who believe what we believe and sense that possibility, the easier that transition will be. Because if it's only a few of us, we're going to be dictators. But also, if... If, if we want just to keep our co-ops together, I don't mean these great awful capitalist co-ops that pose as being liberal, but we want to keep our little neighbourhood associations together, that's fine. And if you're happy doing that, that's fine. But I, I think anarchy is a lot more than that. It's a lot more than that.